But now it comes down to the ultimate selling point, the story. Which method told the story better? Both book and movie hit all the major scenes and tell the story in pretty much the same way. There are, however, some key differences. First, even though we get narration in the movie, it's not what Roald Dahl wrote. Now, there's nothing wrong with this, and in fact, it sounds as though Roald Dahl could have written the narration. And the narration definitely tightens up the story a bit. A lot of the book sounds like a series of short stories, and the movie definitely keeps it all tightened together and keeps it flowing as one story. The movie also isolates Matilda a lot more in the first act, and really plays up the loneliness of being a smart girl with a dysfunctional family. This makes Matilda's situation in the movie a little more realistic. But then the book does make Matilda's situation a lot darker, and the fact that Matilda's loneliness isn't played up is what balances out that darkness. Whereas the movie relies on comic relief and slapstick. Okay, see, this is why you don't get to talk about the movie. Are you going to deny that there is a lot of slapstick in this of movie? Of course there is, but the slapstick routines don't even last that long, they don't distract from the story, and come on, keep in mind this is a children's oh, movie. Th that's true, you've, you've got me there. The movie was intended for children, whereas the book was intended... Oh, wait, the book was intended for children, Visual media, too. Matt, remember? Maybe those things work really well in book form, but a movie, a visual medium, needs more visually yeah, exciting... Such an extra subplot with oh, FBI yeah. agents. You to bring that up. You well, have to I bring just up think that if you're going to talk about how much tighter the story is in the movie, you should probably talk about this extra subplot that probably oh, wasn't okay, necessary. Okay. Fine, fine. Yes, the movie does add a little more comic relief with FBI agents Bob and Bill, hapless detectives who watch Wormwood's house in the hopes of finding enough evidence to have him arrested. Now, to be fair, these scenes with the two do serve to make the Wormwoods a little more of a constant presence in the movie than they are in the book, as well as to remind us that Harry Wormwood is, in fact, a criminal, as if we need reminding. But really, they don't serve a whole lot of purpose in the story outside of comic relief and pretty mediocre comedy at that. Though, I mean, come on, you've got Pee Wee Herman playing an FBI agent, how is that not hilarious just on its own? But for me, what it really comes down to is the message. Now, both book and movie have a very strong child empowerment message, but I think that the book's message is a little bit stronger. Here's why. Remember what I said about the school being portrayed as a war zone? Yeah, I was kind of wondering when you'd get back to that. This shows us that the children were perfectly capable of standing up to Trunchbull before Matilda came along, even though Matilda was the one to strike the final blow. In the movie, Matilda instigates the rebellion, and seems to be the sole reason why anyone stands up to Trunchbull at all. She's not quite on an equal level with her peers, and because the movie is more power-centered than intelligence-centered like the book is, it seems more like the powers were just arbitrarily bestowed on her. In that way, it seems to be more about the empowerment of one child as opposed to all of them. This is also supported by the book's explanation of Matilda's powers. Basically, her powers manifested because she wasn't being allowed to use her incredible intelligence to its fullest potential. And once she is moved up to the top form in school, her powers disappear. In the movie, there is no explanation for Matilda's powers, and we even see her using them at the very end. The book's explanation of the powers makes it seem more like any child could have them if they were in a similar situation, and that if people try to squelch a child's abilities, those abilities will shine through regardless speaking more to the empowerment of all children, not just the lucky ones who get powers. The movie has a strong child empowerment message too, but it's more of the kids rule adults drool variety, especially in the final scene with Trunchbull where she's chased from the school. The book's message is much stronger and more universal, and in my opinion, that makes it the better story. Text media wins this time around. Now, that doesn't mean that this movie isn't worth seeing, as it does do an excellent job of capturing the spirit of Roald Dahl's original story. And it doesn't mean that books are always going to win in these reviews. Right, Matt? Oh, yeah. Right, Matt? Book wins! Book wins in your face, Matt Hatter! Matt. Book is superior! That's Matt, right! On, seriously. Yeah, the book won. Books Se are better. Seriously, knock it off. Books rule. Matt. Movies drew. Books rule. Would you stop with this? Drew. Go. Oh. Could you show a little bit of maturity, please? Oh, oh, come on, come on, it's not that oh, big a deal. Okay, yeah, you won, great. Yeah, 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 come, yeah. Matt, would you, oh, with the singing and the dancing, yeah. would you knock it off? Matt, come on, would you just, down. Oh, Matt, 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 Matt,